But anyway, so that was one piece of it. The other part of it was, again, pounding away, pounding away, pounding away. Where's the National Guard? Why aren't they there? Why aren't they there? Why don't you okay it? Well, you know, it takes a lot. It, it, was, it was really weird. And now they make up all kinds of things, like they were there, they weren't. But um, the main decision was, we're going back. We're going back. And people said, well, we could bring all the members over here to, well, now remember it's COVID, and so you have to be spaced and all that. You can bring them over here, and then we can do the whole process. I said, we're going to the floor of the house. Chuck Schumer was very much that way. And, and to his credit, Mitch was okay with that Good. as well. He wasn't a problem. So the three of us were in agreement. <laughs> but in the course of the evening, don't tell anybody I told you this, okay? This is, just between, <laughs> this is just between each one of us. And everybody online in the press who's yeah, reporting yeah. on it is good. <laughs> in the course of the evening, you're going to love this, Mitch goes over to Chuck and says, congratulations, Chuck. He realized that the votes of the day before, January 5th, had now proven that Chuck was going to be the majority leader of mm. the Congress. Now, just as an aside, just as an aside, now we'll get back to this. So we said to the security, we're coming back. You know, we're coming back. Now, what's the earliest time we can come back? It doesn't mean, you know, there's still, you know, blood and glass and everything else on the, on the floor and stuff, but we're coming back. And that was the moment. They could have said, well, you could just do it here. I said, no. The world has to see mm. that the capital is operational and that we are in the capital as we engage in the peaceful transfer of power in terms of the electoral college. And that was pretty exciting, I have to admit. And the members were very grateful for that, even though they were the ones most at risk, because you know I have so much security. They have security, but not a speaker. Speaker's second in line to the president presidency. I mean, it's, that never happened, but nonetheless, you get commensurate security in that regard. So these members were very courageous to agree mm -hmm. that we would go back and do this in light of what had happened earlier in the day. But you know what's really sad about it, and you can tell anybody this. <laughs> what was really sad about it, Barbara, was that, um, Senator, was that, um, <laughs> that when that happened, overwhelmingly, the Republicans in the House voted against accepting the results mm. of the Electoral College. That, is, that was heartbreaking. It's one thing for a gang of whatever you want to call them to come in here instigated by the President of the United States. It's another thing for members of Congress to vote against the peaceful transfer of power. 